I mean, I said, what it do, bro? What it do, boy? What it do, kid? Hey, we back with another vid. We back. Today. Today. I mean, today is a very special day. Today is the day that God needed me. And he knew me before the womb. He put me in the womb. Then me. Today is the day when God created me and I was born. Today is the day I turned to 17. I'm 17, boys. Boys getting old. I'll taste. I'm 17. And I just want to say I give all the glory to God. Pray to him. You know, it was between me and him. I don't got to know. But yeah, today I'm 17. This vid was supposed to make. I was supposed to make this video a long time ago, but your boy get lazy. Look, today we're gonna talk about heart, how diligent it is, how fragile it could be. Today, the Lord said, let's talk about heart. I usually ask what to, to talk about because I just don't want to talk about anything. I want the Lord to lead me. So today we're talking about the heart. Now, as usual, I got three scriptures. Three scriptures, three supporting things. <laughs> All right, we have three scriptures. Scripture number one. I, you thought I remember it? I still got a lot of work to do. Scripture number one. And of course, it's in Matthew twelve thirty four. How blood of vipers, how can you be being evil, speak good things? For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So, so those, it's basically to the hypocrites, bro. Like, you can't, you can't speak, you can't be evil and speak good things. And you can't be good and speak evil things. It don't make sense. Uh, yeah, you can't be evil and speak good things. That's like that doesn't make sense at all. The Lord, He sees your heart. He sees how you really are, and He sees if you're being true to your word or not. So, basically, there's no point of you acting, even for God, because God even knows as well. So, let you not be a hypocrite. Let you not. Let you not. Talk about good things, but then do them. You know, yeah, that don't make sense. Um, I, th he, I think he was talking to like, no, 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 never mind. Not the Pharisees, but but you can't be, you can't be like that, bro. He, 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 he knows, he knows if you're being true or you're being fake. And here, he knows. And oh, my God. everything comes out from the heart. So whatever you speak is coming from your heart. And if this if you're speaking evil things, then there's evil things in your heart that you need to fix. Not you fix, but God. You need you need to humble yourself and tell the Lord that I have evil things to put them aside. You know, you need a, you need the Lord's help. You need the Lord for everything. You can't speak you can't act good and then speak evil things. That don't make sense. That's 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 fake right there. That's fake. That's being fake. Right there. You you just can't. It, not to the Lord. It doesn't make sense to man, maybe, but not to God because He's gonna cast it out and He's gonna call you. He's gonna call you up. What else? Uh, how can you be evil? Yeah. So if you, even even if you're trying to act good, your heart is whatever your heart. Whatever you say, it comes out from your heart. So whatever your heart is saying, that's what you truly are. So it's either you're being fake or rather you just got to tell God that I need help. And the Lord, I need to fix my heart. Bring them pieces back together. Boom, scripture number one. Give us this day our daily bread. You heard me? Where we at? Where we at? Hold on, hold on, my bad. Uh, wait, where am I? 
Oh, okay. Um, this is in Matthew, it's Matthew uh, 6, 19, or, oh, okay, Matthew 6, 20. Do not lay up for yourself treasures on earth, earth where moth and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal, but lay up for your yourself treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust destroys and where thieves do not break and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will also be. Look, this one's talking about where your heart is. No, it's up to you. If you want to place your heart upon the world, upon with God, do you want to trust your heart with other people? And the result is, it won't be as good as God. Like, because God, he wants all the best for you. God, he wants your heart to be healed. He wants those heart, those pieces to come back together and put them back and so it can make a whole heart. And that's where the cross is, the heart. Now, you put it in the world easily. People could break your heart. People could, but could stomp on your heart. People could do a lot of stuff with your heart. Don't put your trust upon the world. Don't put your, don't put your heart upon the world. Don't put your heart upon heaven where no one could touch you. Only God could touch it. And every time he would touch it, he's healing you. Now, for man, you don't know what he else is going to do. People could do all type of stuff with your heart. Your heart is very, your heart is very diligent. This, your heart is what you are really are. Your heart is what you speak, if it's good or not. Your heart is where the Lord sees. And if it's good, it's good. But if it's bad, it's bad. He chops it off. The Lord, he loves you with all his might. He thinks about you more than anything. Put your, put your, all your treasures upon the earth. I mean, on the heaven and trust in him because whatever he got in store for you is better than what the earth got because whatever god has created the earth what does the earth have for you that god doesn't god is the god of all creators all elements all everything put your put your heart upon the lord the lord he got you he got your back just keep on trusting the lord don't put it upon the earth where it could get stolen broken hurt stomp you don't want to feel that pain and and if you do, then even if you do, you could come back to God and still, after those pieces, he will fix them together and he will put it upon the earth. I mean, heaven, heaven, where no one can touch it, not even the angels, only God can. Scripture number two. Now this one. Psalms 116, oh my bad, 118, 11. Your word I have hidden in my heart that I might not sin against you. It's short, but it means a lot of meaning. When you start reading the word, wait. When you start reading the word, not only that you start memorizing it, but you memorize it in your heart. When you start memorizing in your heart, you don't want to commit those same sins you did. You don't want to have the same desires. Here, remember the word through the heart. So you won't sin against God. Because that is the one thing that almost separated us, me, him, and us. And we don't want that again. It will never happen again. I mean, but it'll be a day of judgment. But that's upon you. That's, that's up to you. So keep the word within you. Keep it like if it's an ammo. Like, the devil keeps coming up, attacking you. You keep reloading, hitting him in the scripture. Boom, 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 boom. What did the devil do to Jesus? He tempted him, right? 40 days. What did Jesus do? He just hit him with scripture. Boom, 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 boom. He hit him with scripture. And what did he do? He fleed. James 4 and 7, submit yourself to God and the devil will flee. Remember his word. Keep your word within you. So you might not sin. So... You won't cause others to sin as well. And that you won't sin. Keep that with you. You having the word. Bro, the word is God. So basically, you having the word. You having God within you. God is already in you. So keep the word in you. Memorize the word. Study the word. Do everything you can. Because the devil is going to try to come back. And he's going to try to tempt you. He's going to try to cause you to sin. But you got that thing loaded and you're ready to boom, boom, boom. You know what I'm saying? Or 
in uh, Ephesians, you got that whole, you got that sword, you got the, the, the word of God, you know it. So you just, you got a shield of faith and you just, you know, it's that easy, yo. I mean, it's that easy, but just continue remembering the, what God has for you. Continue praying to the Lord. Continue doing whatever he has for you because when he has for you, it's better than any plan you will ever think of. Even if you thought it through birth, his plan is always better. You know why? Because you don't search for things on earth, but you search for things above. Because above is better than below. <laughs> but just talk to God. Just talk to him because he loves you. And he's just, he wants his kid to come home. He wants his kid to follow his plan with what he has drew out for you. We could be the main characters of the book, but he's the author. And I'm not scared because I know what the author has for me is better than anything and what the author has for me I shouldn't be scared because what he has for me is not going to put me in danger you can't tempt God what's he just got on my but yeah keep those scriptures loaded keep them keep them coming keep on slicing the devil keep on slicing his demons because at the end of the day they're the ones trying to drag you to hell but God is here for you so you won't go there because he wants you to come back home to the kingdom of God Keep the scriptures loaded. Place your heart in heaven and put your heart towards the Lord because he will fix it. He will smash it. It may seem bad. Remember, he is the potter and we're the clay. So he's going to smash it. He's going to have to do some things. But at the end of the day, it's going to be just as he wanted it, just as good. Just keep on trusting him for what he has. Like I'm just saying, it's better than anything. It's better than Twitch streaming, being rich, being top of the world. What is that? You come in with this world with nothing, so you're also leaving with this world with nothing. So when you die, you have nothing but your soul. <laughs> and that does so don't even belong to you because that soul belongs to God. So, I mean, all I can say is just put your heart with God. Put it up on heaven. Go put it up with him. He will fix it. Let him do the work. He's the one doing the work. All we have to do is just obey. And we'll be his friends. You know? The Lord is everything to us. He's a hero. He's a father. He's a friend. He's whatever. He's a whole lot, man. He's a warrior. <laughs> Look at this picture right here. You can't see it, but everybody's bound down to him. But, yeah. Put your heart with the Lord. Don't put it upon the world because, like I said, the world is going to stomp on it. The world don't like God. The world don't like us Christians. John 15, 18. The world hates you, mind you. The world hated him first. So, just continue. Because the world doesn't hate you. The world hates you. And God doesn't. But God is stronger than the world. What can the world do to God? The world is not even, you know. But yeah, that's all I got for today. Today I'm going to end it off with a Bible scripture. A Bible prayer. I've been just repeating this prayer. Because it's so fire. The prayer is fire. Let's say it's, just Make sure I don't get it wrong. I know it. I know it. I already, I already know it. Let's go like this. Dear Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. You will be done. On earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread. Uh... On earth as in heaven, give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us for our debts as we forgive our debtors. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For your kingdom, your kingdom is yours, and the power and the glory and forever. Amen. Amen. Keep that within you. Kingdom come, let his will be done. His kingdom is within you. So just do his will. Let him. Do let you do his will. I'm gonna end it off right there, boys. Yeah, wish me a happy birthday. And whoever's happy birthday today, I guess happy birthday to y'all. But yeah. And I got a three-day fast tomorrow. Yeah.